Right, so the stabiliser, legs, arms, outriggers, I'm calling them outriggers. Uh, it calls for um, 50 by 50 box section. If I'd uh, realised sooner, I would have ordered um, slightly bigger. And the reason I'm saying that is because the box section it's going into is 100 by 100. Now, when I put the plates on the outside, that then makes it 100 opening. Um, but if I'd have thought on about the outriggers, I'd have bought, bought maybe like 80 mil box section. I know it'd have been heavier, but I only need 28 inches or well, whatever that is in millimeters. Uh, 28. 710 something like that um i only needed that much of each so it wouldn't have really been that much of a weight increase um yeah i wish i'd done that now because what it is is the 50 mil is only like that and then it's going into 100 so it's like so i mean it's like yeah it's like here's my real time um explanation of it there's the 50 mil there's the 100 mil can you see the the size in difference in all that so i've got a bit to take up so what we're going to do is we're going to take our 50 mil box section i mean i could get 80 mil now but it's just more money that i'm spending don't want to do that we're on a budget guys so what i'm going to do is i cut some 10 mil plate for something i can't remember what but i did it i don't know where it, yeah uh anyway i've got this 10 mil plate cut i'm going to weld that onto the 50 mil box section the other side and that's going to give me the extra packing shall we say so that'll that essentially then turn into 70 mil thick so I only have to take up um, I only have to take up 30 mil then so I'm gonna do I'll probably do that with the bushings I think probably do 50, 10 mil or 15 mil either side for the bushings so yeah that's what we're gonna do so I've cut the legs yeah it would be easier getting 80 mil but I'm not I'm, I'm not bothered. I'd still have to put it out 10 mil anyway in the bushings so I'm not that bothered so let's weld some, we'll make it robust, we'll weld this 10mm plate on as well, somewhere. Well, we'll get some holes drilled and then we'll weld the 10mm plate on. I've buggered up, I've drilled a 38 or an inch and a half and it should have been a, a 19. Yep, should have been a 3 quarter. No, it shouldn't have been, should have been an inch. Jesus, I've just come off night so I'm a bit tired. Um, should have been an inch. I've drilled it through, I've drilled it an inch and a half so deal with what you got don't you uh, right let's get cracked on then I'll mark some holes out on this I must remember that uh, this end has to be well you won't see it because <laughs> you're on me <laughs> but down there one, one end is going to have to be uh, inch and a half hole and the other end is going to be inch hole so I'll mark that up as we go so we don't get uh, confuzzled um, and then get these other little bits made up these little bits take the longest you know I'd rather be building that slow at least when it takes a long time it, it's got something to show for it at the end <laughs> so alright let me get cracked on um, this is what we're building the leg a leg I don't mind a leg chicken leg lamb leg yeah anyway guys um, I'll get you panned up now
Right then, we're, these legs, we're on the finishing finishing stretch now. Sorry I haven't filmed much, it's been... Um, it's, I've had to deviate a little from the plans. Um, some things haven't turned out quite to plan on plans, uh, but other things have. But um, yeah, we're about there now. Um, so, as you can see, I've just mocked everything up. How it should be mocked up, really. Where it all um, it all goes down very smoothly. Oh, that's at full extension. So <laughs> once I get the wheels back on, I'm hoping that's going to touch the floor. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, no, it will do. It will. It will touch the floor anyway, because. I'm quite far up at the moment, I'm, I'm on axle stands on it. So now I've just got this side to um, to do, I'm going to put these, these parts on, these go diagonals like I've already got there, that's just tacked up in place just so I can test it all, and it looks like it's working pretty good. So let's get on with this side, it's a lot of trial and error, it's a bit of a faff about but we're getting there. Um, so. Yeah, let's <laughs> let's get to it. Sorry, but like I say, sorry about not recording quite a lot of stuff. There's a lot of stuff there I haven't included, but what I'll do is once once I'm finished with it, I'll put it on the bench and I'll break it down to where I've done and where I haven't done um, to plans. Uh, hopefully, you'll be able to understand where I'm on about. But yeah, it's uh, sure is fun. We're um, almost finished with the uh, the back or side of it. Once that's done. Get these controls mounted up um, and then we're on to uh, mounting the hydraulics uh, well the hydraulic pump and then we'll make a tank then we'll measure some horse lengths and hopefully get them so yeah see you soon